Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to another exciting tutorial. In this video, I'd like to explain a singleton. Many developers consider a singleton as anti-pattern and in this video, I will try briefly to explain why so. So let's figure out what the singleton thing is. The singleton is a design pattern that ensures that there is only one instance of a class and uh, whenever we want to access this class, we're accessing actually that singleton object and we cannot create uh, any other instances of the class. Singleton object could be useful for logging when we have one logger for our entire application. It also could be useful for configuration files that also we have only one configuration file and we don't need to instantiate and create more copies of it. Also, it could be used to, to deal with cache. It also could be a shared instance. But what are the disadvantages of a singleton? So main disadvantage uh, of this pattern, and that's why it's called anti-pattern, that's poor testability. Singleton object introduces a global state and global dependency to our app and therefore our classes become less testable because it's really hard to mock those objects and if a singleton object changes our test could fail. So let's try to create a simple singleton class to see an example how it's look like and what it is. Let's create a simple logger. So it's going to be class logger and what do we need to make it singleton? We need a shared instance. So it should be static. Let shared. And this property should be of a type logger. This class could be considered as a singleton, but it's rather a class with a shared instance because this class logger still could be instantiated. In order to forbid instantiation, we need to make our init private. Okay, so now we have like true singleton and it could not be instantiated. And when we want to access logger, we need to access all the functionality through a shared instance. So let's create a function log with a message and print it to console. All right, so this is a simple singleton object. It could not be instantiated and we could use it only in a following way. Logger, shared, and log message. And we're getting a message in our console. If we try to instantiate it, we're gonna get, we're getting an error that logger initializer is not accessible due to private protection. So here is a singleton object. So should you use it in your apps? It's up to you to decide, but it's better to use dependency injection where possible because it's easier to test, easier to mock, and it doesn't make tight coupling between object and doesn't add a global state to your app. Nonetheless, Singleton is considered as anti-pattern by many developers. Apple uses Singletons in its own code. And I'll show a quick example. URL session. 
it's also a singleton because we access it in the following way also user default standard it's also a singleton also file manager is also a singleton so that's it for today's thank you for watching this video if you find it useful give it a like and i'll see you next episode bye bye